Okay guys, it's happening. We're starting to take up the carpet. We've got all of our new flooring and some paint. So we're ready to get started. Um, I am taking up all of the floor vents. Um, we're going to do our very best to stay organized. So I'm gonna put all the screws in baggies um, and try to keep everything uh, contained and that way we can put it back exactly where we got it. So I'm gonna start doing that and Garrett is starting on the carpet in the bedroom. I've, I've made my first cut in the carpet and trying to figure out the best way to peel the carpet from. So I started just yanking at the carpet to get it out and uh, I noticed that the wall started to uh, kind of crack here. Um, so I guess the flooring was laid before the, even the, uh, these outer walls. So it looks like the wall is actually sitting on top of the carpet. So we'll just have to, we'll just have to use our uh, box cutter to, to trim this up, which, which I don't know if that's good or bad. We're also going to be taking out some of the things we just don't use or that don't work right, including this clock here. It was up here, but we're just going to putty over those holes and paint right over it. We also had a light over here and we never used it kind of just got in the way so just took that out and we'll uh, putty up that hole and paint over it too. Progress is being made. I've got all the handles taken off of the doors except for in the bedroom because that's where Garrett's still uh, taking out the carpet and I took off the trim and the blinds up here too. So it's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> Maybe more than we originally thought but it's gonna look so great in the end, so we're still glad that we're doing it. Renovating an RV is full of all sorts of challenges. For example, we are trying to take the dinette out so uh, it'll be easier to rip up the carpet down here and then lay the, f the flooring so we won't have to kind of cut all the pieces to fit in the middle and whatnot when we lay the flooring. So. It was pretty easy, or so we thought, to remove these because we'd have to just unscrew like six of these screws that are in the floor. But then it turns out uh, it's also anchored in the wall up here. And uh, when they built these dinettes, they framed them out first, screwing everything in, including it, uh, into this wall. And then they put this paneling on. So the screw to get it off the wall is behind the paneling back here. Um, and so, you know, it's just, it's just always kind of a puzzle. So we had to, you know, kind of carefully pry off this paneling of not to break it. But, uh, and then on this side, uh, same thing, except the screw is stripped on the top. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do there. Yeah, I guess we'll have to get one of those tools that lets us, um, that you can unscrew things when the, when the head's been stripped. So, yep, it's always interesting. We got the bikes out and now uh, starting to rip up the carpet up in this area. Um, I was looking at the chairs, uh, the captain's seats, uh, to kind of see what our options are there. Uh, we were planning on taking them out instead of having to cut the flooring around them and stuff when we're laying them and that way it'd just be easier. Um, so I was investigating and there's carpet glued to the base of these chairs. Uh, so I kind of peeled it off, which is gross. And then um, I peeled up the carpet and the bolts that bolt this into the floor are not your normal bolts. They are, uh, oh gosh, I don't know what they're called, um, but they're the ones with the round top that you can't just, you can't just unscrew. So. Yeah, so I think we're gonna leave them. Because where the bolts come out uh, is just right above the wheels in the wheel well, and there is a lot of insulation sprayed in here, uh, so those would be difficult to get out. Uh, so. so I think we're just gonna leave them and we'll put the flooring around them and I'll glue that carpet back on. Eh, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it'll be easy because we won't have to take the chairs out and deal with all that. Uh, but at the same time, it'll make putting the floor in a little bit more difficult and getting the carpet out. 
but making progress. Lindsay has started pulling up the linoleum, which surprisingly the linoleum has actually was underneath most of the carpet. Yeah, so Lindsay's pulling it up. We're making progress. So we're almost done ripping the carpet up. I got all the carpet out of uh, from you know underneath the captain seats and in the front of the RV. Uh, and Lindsay has gotten some good stuff done in the bathroom. She's got most of the linoleum out. Needs a little cleanup, but we'll probably want to take the toilet completely out and uh, just make sure that that's all good. Uh, we also have this carpet underneath the shower. We can't decide whether or not we're going to take the shower out. Um, I think we should, but it might be a lot of work. Um, we're also not sure what we should do with the doghouse. And there's carpet up underneath the dash. Um, honestly, at this point, I'm almost thinking we should just leave it. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of work to rip all that up, especially since this is all fiberglass, so I'm pretty sure the carpet's glued. Uh, so if we're gonna rip it out, it's gonna be a lot of work to rip that out and then we're gonna have to sand it all and then maybe paint it. Um, I don't know, we'll just have to see. We also have the stairs left. So the stairwell uh, has some carpet around it. Uh, so we're still trying to think about what we're gonna do with that. The carpet actually will come off real easily, um, but we're still not sure what we're gonna do with that, so. I think it's looking good. I mean, I guess not good, but I think the hard part is going to be cleaning all this up and prepping it and getting ready to lay the floor into paint. Once it's prepped, I think everything else should be pretty, pretty easy or just at least pretty straightforward. So it's been a continuous struggle to figure out what to do with the carpet that is underneath the shower. So Garrett decided to go ahead and tackle it and try to get most of it off. So it's obvious that the carpet runs all the way under the shower. Um, how we're going to get the rest of the carpet out, I'm not sure. We may even just leave it and cover this up with a piece of flooring and trim it out um, and do what we can. So, quite a unique challenge when it comes to remodeling an RV.